runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Brissett. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Now Brissett. Escaping the pressure right. Over the middle complete. It's Hunt. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. A first carry now for Nick Chubb, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And Chubble trying to middle here. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Here's Brissett. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Jason Pierre-Paul coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over instead. Creates a penalty. Following the penalty, Chubb. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it will come out to the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A man who missed all of 2021, this is J.K. Dobbins. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Now it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down.
Jackson now. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Injuries delayed Rashad Bateman's arrival into the Baltimore Ravens lineup in 2021, but he still put up 515 yards in 12 games as a rookie. The Ravens do believe a 1,000-yard season is more than possible from their first rounder in 2022. Here, he gets him a first down. And Jackson's so tough to stop. He's got a first down, and he gives himself up there at the end. A good pick up there, 22. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. On first and 10, Brissett flushed out right. This complete to David Bell. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Throwing, Brissett. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They go with Chubb on second down. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Brissett. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Now, I guess, Parker, you call that a covered sack. Oh, without a doubt, because where did he have to go with the football? I know everybody wants to get on him about, hey, get rid of the football. You had too much time in the pocket. But he's scanning the field, nowhere to go, and that allowed the pressure to ultimately get to him. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And yeah, that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. The Jackson going to hold on to it again. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Well executed there on second down. So do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility. But now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. 
And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Clock runs less than a minute to go in an entertaining first quarter of play. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And he'll just get rid of it. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Boy, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting them if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And this Browns defense stands tall. First down, Brissett. Flush to his right. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Buying time to his left. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Brissett's throw pulled in by Schwartz. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Again, it's Brissett. Tries the right side, and he finds Bell. And he'll get this down inside the 5 to the 4 before he's out of bounds. Second and goal from inside the five. Brissett sets to throw it. This is caught. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. It appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. From three yards out. And the Browns have taken the lead. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. That time a six-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Fields it right around the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to 7. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. 
On the move to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. And Jackson gonna run again. The 40, he's at the 30, 10, five, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And we are tied at 14. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little... And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Brissett, that's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. Now that's on the guard, Wyatt Teller. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Forced out to his left. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Joel Batonio, one of the steals of the 14 draft, the culprit there. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. Four yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 43. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision 
and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Jackson on first down. That would complete to Prochet. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. To throw is Jackson. Steps away to his left. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And a five yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. Tucker's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Play fake, Brissett. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohork has to punt. Pulled in at the 24. Well, a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Jackson eluding the pressure right. That is caught with Sean Bateman. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A well-executed 22-yard gain. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On first and 10, it's Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Rashad Bateman, 32 yards. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. 
Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Browns now going to take over late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. On second and 12, Jackson. He's going to float this one deep right side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So pass interference, the call there. Always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first. But this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. It was Jadavian Clowney who got upfield for the stop. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Tucker's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The Browns drive about to get started. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. 
But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Brissett now. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first round. The pick up there, five yards. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. On second and nine, reset. That's complete to Bell over the middle. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Here's Brissett. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he's going to take this no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. To throw, Brissad. He'll get this to Bell, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and now we've got a third and three. Out of the gun, Brissett, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper, and he is going to have a Browns first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. From the red zone now, Brissett. That's complete. It's Bell. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They give them two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Chubb. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I would think down two scores at this point in the fourth quarter, even with the loss there on first down, this has got to be four down territory. If you're the field goal kicker, your only purpose now is if you can run out for a pass or actually carry the ball into the end zone. Otherwise, don't even look at the coach. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Being chased out left. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. York able to send this one through, and that gets him back within 10. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The Ravens ready to take over. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. 
And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now Jackson on first down. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 37-yard line. Now it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. And they'll work this down inside the 30. That'll give them eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A give up the middle to Dobbins. 41 yards on the ground for him now on nine kicks. Offensive line, they're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. To throw once more on second and 10, Jackson. And this one is incomplete. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays? Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also here. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Brissett. That's going to be taken in by Felton. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'll throw again. Brissett dancing to his left. Or they work this to the 45. 
At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now a second down and six. From the gun, here's Brissett. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he gets it down to the 32. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. So no gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Anthony Schwartz there to make the grab. And the Browns have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Dobbins running out of the gun. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And that flag's on Miles Garrett, and we know he's got a nose for getting after the quarterback, but that time, even though he's going to protest it a little bit, he's a step late, and they hit him with the penalty. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. 
And the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game. You and it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Ravens. They find some open field here. And a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. They'll start with the option. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And that will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Jackson. This is caught. Touchdown. Devin Duvernay, 33 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Cleveland offense making their way out. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. On first and ten, Brissett. That one is caught by Hunt. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Brissett again. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On third down, Brissett. He's going to let it fly. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Fourth down, Brissett. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he's going to pick up the Browns first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Here's Brissett. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Donovan Peoples-Jones, 46 yards. And the Browns get a bit closer. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. 
Oh, and did the Browns get it? I think so, yes. Great job by the kick team there to get the football, but also don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. Oftentimes, it's only when it's negative. In this case, he created a positive play for his team. Now that to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. That was close to grounding, but it's second down. On second down, Brissett again. Escaping the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jason Pierre-Paul able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Throwing. Brissett. Forced out to his left. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point. But being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire.